Hello, sea lovers and welcome to a new video by Sealad. Are you ready to dive into the fascinating world of shipping and discover why ships are painted red below the waterline? Well, buckle up and get ready to embark on an adventurous journey, because today's topic is anything but boring. My name is Gloria, and I'm here to shed some light on the mystery of the red paint on the hulls of ships. Have you ever wondered why ships are often painted in different colors below the waterline? You might be surprised to know that the reason for this has roots in the earliest days of sailing ships. Sailing ships used to travel the world at a slow pace and their rough wooden hulls were a perfect breeding ground for underwater growth, including bonnacles, worms, and seaweed. This growth not only damaged the hull, but also added extra weight and reduce the ship's maximum speed due to additional drag. To combat this, the concept of anti-fouling was introduced. Anti-fouling is a system designed to reduce the growth of marine life on the underwater sections of boats and ships. In the early days, copper sheets were placed on the hulls to prevent worms from eating their way through wooden hulls, but also to reduce plant life growth. Nowadays, anti-fouling is accomplished through a form of paint that still uses copper as a biocide, but mostly as cuprous oxide mixed in with the paint. The red color of anti-fouling paint comes from the natural red color of copper oxides. There are two types of anti-fouling systems, soft and hard coatings. Soft coatings are designed to wear off over time continuously exposing fresh biocides as the outer layer of paint wears off. Hard coatings, on the other hand, are more durable and meant to last longer as the biocides are released. Both systems work on the same principle of gradually releasing biocides, commonly based on copper. However, there are environmental considerations when it comes to anti-fouling. The release of biocides and paint into the environment is a concern, which is why many ports do not allow cleaning of hulls. There are alternative solutions being explored, such as using a jelly-like substance to remove growth from the hull, or silicon-based paints that make it harder for bonnacles and other growth to stick to the hull. But most ports still do not allow cleaning, to prevent the introduction of invasive species into the harbour. Cleaning the hull of a ship is an important task to maintain the vessel's performance and extend its lifespan. Traditional methods of cleaning a ship hull, such as manual scrubbing or high-pressure water jets, can be time-consuming and labour-intensive. To make this process more efficient, the use of hull cleaning robots has become increasingly popular. These robots are designed to efficiently clean and remove marine growth, such as bonnacles, algae, and other biofouling organisms, from the ship's hull. They are equipped with advanced technology, including ultrasonic sensors and specialized brushes, to effectively remove even the most stubborn buildup. The robots are also able to reach areas that are difficult to access with traditional cleaning methods, ensuring a thorough and comprehensive clean. In addition to saving time and labor, using a hull cleaning robot also offers environmental benefits. The robot's brushes and cleaning agents are specially designed to minimize the release of pollutants into the water, making the process more environmentally friendly than traditional cleaning methods. Overall, the use of hull cleaning robots is an effective and efficient way to maintain the condition of a ship's hull. By using advanced technology, these robots are able to save time, reduce labor, and minimize environmental impact, making them a valuable asset for any shipping operation. So, there you have it. Now you know why ships are painted red below the waterline and the fascinating history behind it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more amazing content like this.
Until next time, thank you for watching and farewell. See Adventurous.